next 24 hours in the world's smallest Jeep and driving it over 100 miles across the beautiful state of North Carolina. The goal is to drive it from the T-Bar house here all the way to the beach because how amazing would it be to drive this mini Jeep on the sand? This mini road trip is gonna be crazy, so watch this video all the way to the end. This is a regular brand new Jeep and over here is the world's smallest gas powered Jeep and this thing is tiny. It's got two seats, it's two wheel drive with lock diffs on the back. It's got a three speed transmission and shifter, a gasoline engine, electric start, even has working headlights and turn signals, making this thing basically like a real Jeep, just super small. Believe it or not, this thing actually gets 100 miles to gallon in a one gallon gas tank. So give or take, I should be able to make it if I'm good on gas mileage all the way 100 miles to the beach, which is gonna be amazing. And I got this thing on Amazon Prime. Let's get started with this road trip and let me show you how cool this mini Jeep is. Check it out, electric start, when it starts right up. Woo! And to prove this thing is actually a Jeep, let me show you what it can do off-road. That little Jeep is gonna do what normal Jeeps can do. It has to be able to pass all these tests. Test number one, we're gonna see if it can go in the water. So I'm gonna show you how it's done. Let's see if Carter can keep up. Oh boy, this is scary. And look, look, here's the water. Oh my gosh, we are in it. Well, I don't know, Andrew. I don't even know if your Jeep's gonna be able to do it. <laughs> We're tilting a little bit. This is scary. Andrew's trying to show me that this is a test that Jeeps can do. I don't even think his full-size Jeep can do it. This is a brand new Jeep, and I do not want to roll it over into the water. Oh, you're starting to sink. Oh my gosh. Oh, your tires, you're slipping. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna, oh, you're sinking. Get out of there. I might need some help. Uh-oh. We're tilted pretty far. Oh my gosh, guys, Jeep test number one is off to a uh, little bit of a scary start. <laughs> we gotta save passengers out of the Jeep because look, guys, we're about to sink it in the lake. This is brand new, Andrew, you can't lose it. I can't roll it now, this thing is brand new. And he just got it detailed like 45 minutes ago. Here we go, rescue squad. We got a big Ford truck to rescue the little Jeep. Wow, I really dug out the mud here. My feet are sinking deep. Matt, we need a rescue, the Jeep got stuck. I see that. The mini Jeep's gonna be able to do this just fine. I can't wait to show you guys. Andrew, I think you should trade it in for a mini. I can't believe this. It's like a $70,000 electric Jeep. It's really cool. Couldn't even do a little bit of squishy mud. We got the Ford truck with the strap trying to get Andrew out. Let's get a little tension on it first. Make sure that hook is hooked. Oh my gosh. You have no idea, dude. My heart has been stopped this entire time. I mean, it's a brand new car. I would be freaking out too if it just rolled over into the water. Wow, it was all the way up to the black trim. Just about to go inside your doors. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show a real Jeep how it's done because this little Jeep can go anywhere. Let's go! There's no way that little Jeep is gonna be able to do even close to what this thing did. He's definitely going swimming. Guys, comment down below if you think the little Jeep can go nowhere a real Jeep can. Here we go, into the water. I don't wanna go too deep. This is where Andrew got stuck. Yeah! No way! Oh. Oh! 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 Come on, little Jeep! Yeah! <laughs> That thing's only two wheel drive. I can't believe that. My backpack full of water. No, not the Team Rar merch. Woo, but we still made it. Yes, success. Little Jeeps are clearly better than big Jeeps. Woo, on to test number two. Test two is the hill climb with a twist. Andrew with the normal size Jeep, you're up first. I'm a little nervous after that last test, but let's give it a shot. All right, Jeep Rubicon, let's go. Oh boy. Woo. Oh, that's a steep angle already. This is really the steep. The water is pouring out. Wait, there's water in it? Uh, a little bit of water. Okay, this is the hard part because it's got a hill climb with a bump. Oh, oh. did you hit your frame? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, and I think that is a successful pass, but he did uh, drip some water and hit his frame. So let's see if I can do any better. We actually made that pretty easy. That was surprising. Actually, I guess not. That's what Jeeps are supposed to be doing. Time for mini Jeep. <laughs> Let's go! Yes! Come on, baby! Oh. Yes! Even easier! Yes! All right, Carter, you might have done a little bit better than me on those last two challenges, but this next challenge, there's no way that little people win it. 
This next test is gonna get us straight into the road trip because we are going out to the street to see what is faster, the real Jeep or the mini Jeep. Woohoo! There's no way that little Jeep is gonna be able to keep up with the pace of this big Jeep. Andrew, you're up first for this test. You ready? I think so. All right, send it. Here we go. Getting on the road. And he's off and going. 30 miles an hour. Woohoo! Woo! Easily hit the speed limit there. We're cruising. No way Carter's gonna hit that speed. I gotta say guys, I'm actually a little bit nervous about this test because this Jeep is really small. It does have blinkers and everything, but I think if anything, his Jeep is definitely faster. Only one way to find out. So far, so good! Yeah! I think that might be a police officer. Oh no! here and wait for Carter. We made it pretty far. It'll probably take his little Jeep a little while to catch up. Holy stuff, you're gone. Come on. Jeez, all right, so Carter's taking forever. I mean, this is supposed to be a high-speed test. Where is he? He should be here by now. I need to outrun the car. Oh my gosh, what did I just do? My heart is racing right now. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I just did that. Okay, I'm Andrew. I'm just gonna take a nap real quick. Yo, Andrew. Where are you, dude? I've been waiting forever. Uh, did you see that cop on the side of the road? Uh, Undercover cop, he turned his lights on, he chased me. I made a run for it, I turned off, and I'm in the middle of the woods. What should I do? Book it through the back way back to our house. <sighs> okay, all right. I'll circle back and meet you there. All right, sounds good. Good luck. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I don't really know where I am right now, but there's no way I'm going back on the road with this thing because I'm sure the cop is out there looking for me. Let's see. Oh, is that the cop car? Definitely do not try this at home. I think it's coming after me. Am I getting pulled over right now? I made it out, guys. We are back at the Team Roar house. This is great. Scary guys, I've never been pulled over before. Oh jeez. Here, quick, put put the camera down. Don't don't let the cops see. Son, do you know why I pulled you over? <gasps> Sir, no, I have no idea. I'm looking for a mini little Jeep. Have you seen one? Well, I mean, that wouldn't be me. This is a big Jeep. I'm looking for one a little bit smaller than this one. I think it's a tan color. Mm. You saw one or no? Uh, I can't say I've seen any Jeeps around here. No. Okay, okay. Yeah. I've yeah. got a job to do. All right, good luck, All officer. Right, good, good luck looking for that little Jeep. Oh, Andrew's calling me. Andrew, what's up? Cops are at the house. I repeat, the cops are at the house. You gotta get away from the property. And they said they're specifically looking for a tan mini Jeep. What, what should I do? I'm at the house. Meet me down by the garages. I have a plan. All right, I'll see you in a minute. All right. Andrew said to come around this side. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm literally running from the cops. Ooh, feels like I'm playing an actual game of Grand Theft Auto, and now I'm in the spray paint booth. So I don't know what to do now, Andrew. I play a lot of GTA. With you running from the cops, you're probably at about three stars. Three stars? Andrew, this isn't a video game. This is real life. There's cops out there looking for me. If you just spray paint a different color, how about blue? <laughs> It might take your stars down. You go down to zero stars. It always works. Trust me, I've done it. Putting video game this to the test? Let's do it. Wow, not bad. I think it looks great. It looks sick. And now it's time for the grand reveal. <laughs> yeah, look at this thing. It looks awesome. Where are we going? Come on, we gotta test out the GTA myth. Dude, you know how much I weigh? I'm almost like 200 pounds. Don't underestimate mini Jeep. Let's okay. go. <laughs> This is it guys, we are testing a video game myth and that is if you paint your car, you will lose all of your wanted stars. We originally had three, let's see if we're back to zero. Here we go, Woo! Team Rar just launched brand new shirts, guys. These are amazing. The one I'm wearing right here is the green, and Andrew has got the blue and all. We also have them in pink and orange. Go to teamrar.com at the end of this video and go get one for yourself before they sell out. Did you hear that? I don't know. I don't know what that noise was. Oh, 
the intake fell off. What? That's not good. The mini Jeep is quite literally falling apart. We've probably driven about 20 miles since the start of the today's video. The goal is 100 miles, but we're also nowhere near the beach. <laughs> this is not looking good. I think we're about to make a pit stop. I know who to call. That's where Carter calls. Hello? Hey, Liz. Hey, Carter. We were trying to go all the way to the beach. The cops are following us, but we're going to have to see if we can get it started. If we can, we're probably going to come to your house for a pit stop. Wait, what? Okay, great. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs> We gotta see if it'll get started, Andrew. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 Liz! You okay? Yeah. Are you hurt? I'm You're good. good. What happened to your hand? It's a long story, but we went out on the road. I passed a cop. I got pulled over, but I didn't stop. I made a run for it and I outran the cops. So I'm a fugitive. Then they pulled Andrew over, painted this so we would camouflage and we made it here, but then Carter. it broke down. Yeah, we're trying to make it to the beach, but it's not looking good. Carter, you can't make it to the beach. It's getting dark. I know. I'm afraid, honestly, at this point that we're probably like almost out of gas and this thing is not looking good. <laughs> it smells smoky in there. It doesn't smell right. I don't have a beach for you to off road on, but why don't you just test it out in these big piles of dirt I have? Plus, you can do whatever you want because all of this is my land, so no cops. That sounds good. Let's ride this thing until it breaks. <laughs> you ready, Liz? Crazy! I feel like we're on planet Mars. Oh. oh! I don't know if we can make it. Is this thing four wheel drive? No. Oh, oh it's so crazy. steep. Oh. oh. There's no way. All right, here we go. Oh. Whoa. 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 Yes! Wait. Ah. Hang on. The next test, we gotta climb Mount Lizzie. mini jeep these are mini jeeps and they're super awesome because they're gas powered they have a real transmission and they're electric start they go super fast they have headlights and turn signals and they're street legal almost they're incredible off-road and can go through the craziest trails and mud. They even forward through deep water better than a real Jeep. Back in the 1920s, the US military developed the technology to drive a Jeep fully submerged underwater. They never ended up practically using this technology and no one's ever driven underwater until we did this video with a Hummer. Prodigy TV modified their Hummer with tracks to drive fully under and we drove it across the Team Rar Lake with scuba masks. It was insane. But nobody's ever done it with a mini Jeep and that's what we're gonna do today and we're gonna try to drive it in the swimming pool. Phase one of the build to make this drive underwater is we are gonna be installing treads. If you guys remember from the Hummer video with Prodigy TV, they had a Hummer with four treads because it was four-wheel drive and that allows you to get more traction underwater, especially in the lake. Tested tires in the lake with Andrew's Jeep and let's just say it didn't work. Oh boy, this is scary. Oh, you're sinking! I might need some help. You have no idea, dude. My heart has been stopped. Helping with the build, we got Matt and Andrew. So it's time for phase one. Let's get the treads on it and see how well it drives with tank treads. It's so cool. Just like a real car or a real Jeep, we're actually using one of the car lifts to lift a tiny little go-kart. Oh man, look at this. That is a nice look. So we can see how this works. It's just a solid axle chain drive, just like a dirt bike or ATV. And we're gonna make these treads somehow. It's gonna be really interesting to see how it works. Think we're about to do it, Matt? Oh yeah. There you go, that's the old axle. Putting the axle back on because the other one's just not gonna work at all. So we gotta do some custom fab. We ran into our first problem early on, so the axle that came with the treads that should have just bolted up real easy, none of it's compatible at all. The chain and sprocket are not compatible. This isn't compatible. There's custom welding, the disaster. So we have another way that just might work. We're doing the most ingenious thing. This part of the axle is too <laughs> thick, so we gotta lathe it down. We don't have a lathe, but we do have a mini Jeep. So we're just gonna drive it, spin the axle, and grind it down, reducing the diameter of that. I think it's gonna work, let's try it. None of this I think nonsense. 
third gear, and I'm gonna give it gas and spin the axle. Gas power is made. About. So we grinded this, and if that is small enough diameter, the tracks will slide right on, and we're almost done. Moment of truth. Oh, oh, oh! oh it worked! First try! One of the craziest, sketchiest, hilarious setups we've ever done here in the garage, and it actually worked really worked well. great. Didn't realize mini Jeeps are also mini lathes. So we got one more to do. Here we go guys, we are out on the pavement. It does great, we're gonna go to gravel. Oh, there's water! Oh, this is gonna be perfect. We are just gonna trek right on through. All right, a little water. Yes! It's so slow. Mud test number one, mini Jeep versus shredded mini Jeep. Let's see if they go through it. Matt's up first with a regular mini Jeep. Let's see if tires get stuck. Remember guys, these are only two wheel drive. So I have two treads and he's got two wheels driving. Oh, and he makes it through no problem at all. But do the treads, are they better than tires? I would hope so. I mean, I don't even know that there's mud. All right, this one's deep. Oh, it is deep. The treads are almost completely under. Oh, it's like a tank. Mud test number two is up here, and then we have the third test, which is crazy deep. I think they're both getting stuck in the third test, but let's try. Here we go, mud test number two. Matt on the regular tires first. Oh, it's a big splash. And the treads, no problem. The deep mud bog. There's a chance none of us make it out. Matt, you're up first with I'm the ready. tires. Let's go. We've never been through this. Even an ATV might get stuck. Here we go. Oh, he made it. There goes nothing, guys. Let's hope the treads make it. Yeah, it oh, flipped. It yeah. Oh, I was filming, I didn't even see it. Oh, there it is. We're good. Yeah. Fixed. <laughs> yeah, I was looking. It's flipped. It's funny that the tread flips because that's actually the same problem that Prodigy TV has on his Hummer that we drove underwater. Sometimes they flip. Prodigy TV was one of the first people ever to successfully drive a car underwater under its own power and back out again. The goal for this video is to do the exact same thing, but with a mini Jeep or a go kart. is literally melting guys this is not good we gotta get that off oh this mini jeep is gonna blow carefully i was gonna say i was like something doesn't smell right we were just slowly chugging away on that battery no way that's acid yeah that's the battery oh shit. no that's, that's the inside no that's the inside casing i think we She's might bad. be okay but that is bad it's guys that was literally like yo i think it's on fire i don't even know why he said that but it looked and it turns out it almost was on fire oh my gosh the tank almost blew up before we went in the water last test hill climb this is all about power let's see if the treads actually have tank climbing abilities we're getting into place oh. all right here we go in three two one hill climb Oh, you made it to I did, yeah. Oh, man. Okay, well, I do think the treads are better in some ways, but the regular stock Jeep is also better. Tank treads are successful on to mod number two, which is to waterproof the engine so we can drive this thing completely underwater in the swimming pool. We're gonna need some adapters for the exhaust. Time to get cutting. You're probably wondering how we're gonna waterproof a gas-powered dirt bike engine with the transmission and gas tank. Well, it starts with... 190 degree and one tiny piece of plastic. Interesting, let's mm -hmm. see how that's so gonna work. So this just goes 
on like this. And then uh, that yeah, is gonna be this. Oh, it's so tall. <laughs> so basically, we're gonna be able to go as deep as this is tall. And this is the same thing that Prodigy TV had, guys. This is like just ridiculous. Here we go, water test one. Let's submerge this thing underwater. The goal for this first test is to see if this dirt bike engine is gonna work completely underwater. If our waterproofing works, it should be good. If it doesn't, it might be the last time this engine runs. Your hope it works. It's not really running too well with all of this on it. I don't want to stall it underwater. That's gonna be a problem. I gotta get it. Right, I'm gonna do one lap. There's bubbles coming out. Oh no. Bubbles coming out means water is going in. We didn't seal something. Look at that rescue squad. Rescue squad. So we are uh, officially sunk. I'm actually a little bit disappointed to see that it didn't work better on our first try. This was only our shallow water because I want to go completely head under the water with a scuba tank. And uh, we didn't get that deep. We can go up to this deep. And then we have the extension, which will get us all the way to that depth. And it failed already. I think every time we test it and it fails, we're going to learn something new to improve. And it's going to get better and better. But we're not going to know until we pull it out. And hopefully the engine didn't break. Matt's in the rescue squad with the CRV, which stands for Carter's Rare Vehicle. All right, we're tied. Come on. We're moving. Yes, we're getting pulled out. Oh, that's part of the problem. Okay. What do you think of our contraption, Phil? Uh, that's how it's supposed to work, right? Yeah. We're back in the garage because test one was a failure and we need to pass that test in order to go deeper and then to ultimately drive the swimming pool. Water got into the engine, which is the whole thing that will kill an engine and definitely not make it run, especially underwater. So we got to figure out how it, the water got in. The snorkel is leaking. So that's much. So it's bad. full of water, dude. We might be getting leaks somewhere along the snorkel right there. We melted our exhaust. It was melting all here too. Sometimes when you're trying to do the world's first thing and you're trying to develop and stuff there's a lot of fails and not a lot of people show all the different fails to make something crazy but yeah we show the fails and today is a huge fail we thought I'd, i thought i'd be eight feet under my swimming pool right now driving around clear water with a scuba mask on but uh we're all muddy broken in our garage so let's see if it'll start now well the engine's starting to run now but the exhaust broke off and the snorkel doesn't work and we're back to original unmodified jeep we are here in the Team Rar garage, and behind me we have two teams and two mini cars. Over here we got Team Red, and I'm over here on Team Blue with Andrew. We will have three hours to mod and customize these cars and turn them into Hot Wheels style cars. The team that builds the coolest car after three hours is gonna win $25,000. Time to get started. Team Red, are you ready? Yeah, let's go! Team Blue, are you ready? Yeah! Let's get started in three, two, one. Hot Wheels! All right, we got three hours to pull up this entire build. The thing is, I don't know anything about cars, which is why I'm really lucky that I have Matt on my team. What do we do? Uh, Matt, what do we do? Matt, we're running out of time. We're going to build it into the fastest race car that we can. Okay, fastest race car that we can. I will say, so far, it already looks pretty fast, right? These tiny cars are amazing. We've used them tons of times in the past in other videos. They go super fast, and they can go off-road. And my favorite part yeah. is they have a real yeah, gas in the air. Yeah! I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, he's like a professional mechanic. I've never worked on a car in my life. And I'm super lucky to have him on my team. <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm just trying to mimic what he's doing, but I don't really know what he's doing. I'm going to pop a trunk. This is called the trunk, right? Well, that's nice. I thought you just hit a button and it raises in the air. <laughs> I feel useless right now. <laughs> Okay, here we go. It's going up. This is great. 
So Team Red has got a head start. They're putting theirs on the car lift, which is hilarious because these tiny cars are so small, but these car lifts can actually lift giant full-size cars as well. So okay. what we need is big wheels. Big wheels? Cars already up on the lift. We're ahead of them. They're struggling over there, but uh, we have a lot to do, not a lot of time, and we need to get the parts. We have to earn them. So we're gonna go back this way real fast. Not yet. That is crazy. It's right above my head. Put that <laughs> under here. Every car customization starts with a car lift. Yes, it is lifted. This way we're gonna be able to access all the tires super easily, all the undercarriage, and look at all the suspension under here. This car is so cool. We're good to go. Time to start modifying. Look how fast he is. Oh yeah. yeah. Very nice. <laughs> Yo, you wanna play some basketball with that? Oh, okay, all right, work it. There you go. I didn't even know you could do this with tires. Mm-hmm. Oh, you dropped one. Where'd I thought you were supposed to. Yeah, I lose that. Okay, we have all the wheels off, but that means we need to go and get new wheels. I gotta come over here to the challenge table. Everything we could ever want is on this table. We have new wheels, we have modifications, we have decorations, but you can't just have them, you have to earn them, which means I need to pull a challenge card for my team. Blindfolded basketball shot. This means that I gotta come over here and make a blindfolded basketball shot. What I do, I can go back to the modification table, take whatever I want, and give it to Matt so Matt can get back to work. Because this is the only way that I'm useful for my team. Alright, so I'm blindfolded, can't see. Can I have a ball, please? Thank yes, you. Sir. Oh, I'll do your hat. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, God, I you wasn't even remotely close. Uh, okay. Wish, that was no, perfect. No, I did that. Perfect. You should, really? Yeah. Let's go! Four tries, I'll take it. Okay. We're saving a ton of time. These challenges can hold you up because you can't move away until you actually complete them. Um, what do we want first? Wheels? Yeah. Challenge seated. Big, heavy wheels. Old wheels, new wheels. So Andrew, what's our game plan? What should we do with this thing? I want to make this thing the ultimate off-roader. I think we should load up on off-roading parts and make it just be able to go anywhere. Sounds good. Let's go get some parts. All right. We got to go run to the challenge table. Yeah, I think we're going to go off-road. What better way than to get these off-road treads? That is so cool. So Here's these one. wheels don't just fit. They're for something else. So we have to put this adapter on. Here goes nothing. And the first challenge is... Bring me all the apples. What? Yes. How many apples? <laughs> no, this is, what is that? Who are we bringing the apples to? <laughs> okay, we each gotta get one apple. I'll go first, here we go. Three, two, one. All right, open oh, my car. Is hard. Get in there. Here, let me Oh. <laughs> I don't know if this is possible. Wait, but this is the first challenge? This is ridiculous. I thought this was a car build off. Oh, I got one! He got it. Oh. Uh, you go, quick! Right. Go, Andrew, go! I got the stem. You use the stem? <laughs> yeah. You're smart. I guess it counts. Let's go. Let's get our stuff. We got it in now. Let's go. Mm. That's a good apple. Oh! Are you serious? Okay, these fit right on. What a mod. Look how cool this is. This thing is starting to look like a crazy off-roader already, and I got a little snack out of it. What is you guys... What? Where did you get wheels this nice? Oh, yeah. I mean, that looks cool and all, but it's not gonna go off road very well. Now that we got the tank treads on the back, we wanna make sure that they actually work. They went on so easy. We're gonna see if they roll and if it actually works. And touchdown. Oh, look how cool this looks. We've wasted about an hour just on the tires, but next challenge, move to the next modification that we can get. I'm really nervous about this one. You're doing this one. Yeah. It's even worse. I got 10 bottle flips. Let's see if these puppies are gonna roll. Firing up. modding this thing. Okay, right, three, two, one, go. One. Nah. Two. I can't get enough spin. Three. Matt didn't realize that I'm a professional YouTuber. I think it would be super cool if we put dualies on the front. That would give us a really crazy off-road look. We got extra tires, might as well. That looks crazy. Four. Five. Oh, Six. One. Seven. 
Eight. Nine. We're gonna need another zip tie to get this to really hold. Don't It'll be a sweet spoiler. Apple. Ten. 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 Come on, get your head in there. Yeah! How did... That was incredible. <laughs> I think we got Dooley's, yes! Challenge is done, got an apple. Next step is aerodynamics, which is going to be a huge wing. Supposedly this thing will make it drive way faster. It actually is gone pretty yeah. solidly. All right, so we basically just have a fighter jet now. Right? Basically. Can we go airborne? Yeah. I think it's possible, isn't it? Tire number two, we're gonna have do two front dualies. We're gonna thread this in. Here at the Team RAR Garage Customs, we like to do a lot of crazy, never before done things, like dualies on the front of a mini car. That's pretty cool and rare and ridiculous. That's like a monster truck now. Look at this thing. It's starting to look like a serious off-roader. It is so wide. All these double treads on the front are gonna be huge and the tank treads in the back for traction. It's gonna be pretty impressive what this thing can do, I think. I'm actually gonna not use the hot glue at all. Okay. I'm just gonna zip tie these to the front too and then cut them. Attention team, this is the official halfway point. Putting it out there, halfway point. At the very end of the challenge, we have a very special guest judge coming to vote and pick a winner. Remember, the winner gets $25,000 in cash. Speaking of special guests, Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge has a ton of celebrity guests as well, including Terry Crews, Joel McHale, Sung Kang, and more will rotate through the 10 episode series. Yo, Matt, we live an hour and a half, we gotta hurry. All right, here's my proposal, Matt. Can you go do the next challenge so I can yeah, keep yeah, yeah. Okay, you go draw the next one. Let's go. No, you do it. I'm gonna keep fishing. Oh, no, that's what I meant. Okay, cool. Let's go. Let's see, let's see. Down the hole? We're gonna find out what down the hole means. Stand behind this line. Yep. Get a corner hole shot. That's it? Down the hole? Easy. Oh, not as easy as I thought. There you go. Woo! The biggest thing I'm missing? Big exhaust. Well, there's a way I can just get it to just stick on like that, that'd be amazing. Like somehow attach it like that. That, it looks stupid where I wanted it. No, I think that looks like, What are you talking about? It looks like a missile. This one. is what happens you know when you, do you it this way? Let's fill the car with a non-car guy. This mod is complete, but Andrew, we gotta get some more mods, so let's go do more challenges. Let's go. Are right. you the first this time? Oh boy, okay. 100 curls? Oh, let's go, workout. Oh, work out. Uh, and I got, don't stop until it's popped? You gotta curl that a hundred times? <laughs> oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, sure. Hey, keep going, I gotta blow up this balloon. Okay. Yeah. Keep going, Andrew! Oh, you gotta do this to get more mods. It's really scary. Oh. I'm getting tired. This balloon is getting huge. Oh. I'm so tired too. Jeez. What are you at? I think I was like, uh, 85? 85? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, 99, 100. Okay, good work. If you help me pump this, let me pull this side. Ooh, we could be mobile and we can go surprise Team Red when this thing pops. <laughs> it's working. Team work. <laughs> Let's go, come on. Okay, we get mods. Let's see. I feel like we gotta go flames. Ooh, I like go that. Flames. I like the uh, the star. <laughs> White go, star. Mod. We need decorations, man. We gotta make it look nicer on the outside too. I know, right? Yeah. All right, so we're going for decorations. You keep working on the challenge. Yeah. Right. Spin the wheel. Here we go. Uh, Pink wig. Awesome. Is that it? Cute. Is that all? Let me see another Oh my god. Oh, I am. Uh, we need some decorations. We want these, and these, and I want all of these, and I want this. A little bit of orange and white spray chalk. Alright. These flames are going to give us a little bit of color and give it a little bit more of an aggressive off road look. So satisfying. And flame. Wow, that is so nice. Yeah, I think right there. Yeah. 
Maybe like there, kind of a nice touch. I was going the hood, man. No, they're sick here. Okay, whatever. Yeah. What do you mean? Look at they're literally dude. Hood look at how sick that looks, though. Right. I mean, that just looks almost as good as I do. Andrew, Andrew. The plan is they're taking our stuff, and we're gonna go do a challenge and just pick as many mods as we want yeah. so we can win this. We're running out of time. Let's get the right. challenge is take a ball pitch shot. Yeah, that's easy. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Okay, here we go. I guess this is the partner challenge. Andrew, give me a ball pit shower. No pressure. Here we go. Oh, oh first try! Yes, let's go get mods. So Ryan doesn't realize this, but this is going to start taking like, a lot of stuff. Yeah. Take the witch. Take the witch. Oh, that's heavy. Every operator needs a winch. Heavy duty. Alright. One. That looks good. Perfect. Flame at a little bit of an angle right here. Last flame right here. We're gonna just strap this on right here. This thing is gonna shoot flames out of it, okay? That's how fast we're going. I think we're done. Oh, what else do we have my. to do? We have time to spare. 30 minute warning. What? No way. Don't forget that the winner of today's video is gonna win $25,000, just like NBC's new show, Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge. The winner of each episode will win $25,000 in cash and have a chance to go to the finale, where three lucky finalists will transform another car in hopes of winning a legendary prize. An additional $50,000 in the honor of having their design made into an official Hot Wheels die-cast car. I'm gonna go put on Ryan's car. Would it look good right there? I like it, it looks good. <laughs> Carter, you put a Hot Wheels flame on my car. It's always like that. No, was it? We're gonna put this racing vent right there. Stick it on. Woo! That looks good. Let's go to the other side. There. Boom. Look at that. Looks great. There's only five minutes left. Everybody, hurry! Oh God! The humanity! If we can mount these off-road lights right here, this is gonna be awesome and give us a ton of visibility at night if we're like driving in the woods. And mounted. <laughs> yes. That looks so cool. Yeah. Love that. Perfect. <laughs> these fit literally perfect, edge to edge. Like they're meant to be there. That's so sick. Oh, yeah. Yes. That looks pretty good. One minute left. Andrew, we gotta hurry. We're not done yet. All right, we gotta get these on. We have only one minute. Are you guys done? We've been done for a while. Come on. You've been done? Shoot. Okay. Well, we're almost done, but we gotta get these on. Otherwise, it's not an off-roader. Every off-roader needs a spare tire on the back and definitely a spare gas tank. Move, Andrew. Go. We gotta hurry. We gotta bolt this on right here. So close. There's three bolts left. Just three bolts. 20 seconds left, guys. 20. 20 seconds. Oh, 19. 18. Andrew, hurry. 17. I got one more bolt. 16. Come on. 14, 13. You're not going to finish. 12. Yes, I am. 11. I got 10, this. You won? You done? I'm eight, done. You got it. 6. What? 5. Let me help. 4. 3. Two, ah! Zero. Hands down. Off the vehicle. Hands down. It's good. We're done. I think I got it. It's a little loose, but it'll hold. It'll hold. The bills are complete. It is now time for the judging and our celebrity guest is coming in right now with almost 10 million subscribers and a platinum artist on YouTube. We got the one and only, my brother, Steven. Steven, thank you for joining us. You're gonna be the judge and you're gonna be determining the winner of $25,000 in cash. You are a perfect celebrity judge and an awesome car collection, so I think you're the perfect judge to pick the winner. We're gonna start over here with Team Red. Car number one, Team Red, go ahead for the final reveal. Oh, that actually looks... You got underglow? Yeah. What? Oh, I love underglow. 
<laughs> and these rims look good. Uh, yeah, it, I mean, it looks good, but you know, take a look. We got the candy paint with the rims. I like it. Custom exhaust. Wow, that looks good. Custom gonna... branding. Wow. <laughs> okay, Steve, remember, you're gonna be picking the winner today of two custom cars. And the winner's gonna get $25,000, just like the show Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge. So there's a lot of pressure, and you can pick any criteria that you think is important. <laughs> I mean, just look at Ryan's car over there. <laughs> okay. He needs an upgrade. I don't know, this looks pretty good. It's got the underglow going, it's got the rims, it's got the candy paint, it's got a two-tone hood. You like our, our custom vents here? Don't really the like vents? those, those uh, look like they were just uh, yeah, those, stuck those, on with <laughs> We could take those off. You want them off? <laughs> off? We could take them Let's move on to the better team, Team Blue. We worked really hard on this, and I think it's definitely worth a win. Here we go, and you ready? Yeah. Oh, let's go! Pull the cover up, pull the cover up. Here we go, you ready, Steve? Ready. This car is really cool. Here we go, three, two, one. Wow! It's all nice. What is that? It's all backwards, hang on. Look, over there, bird. Huh? Steven, look, we got dualies in the front for flotation, and you didn't even notice what we have running in the back. Wow, they look like they are glued together. They're not glued. Something. You got the treads in the back, I like Functional that. tank treads for deep off-roading. Okay. You got an extra tank. Extra can of gas, extra tire, in case we pop one of the four in the front. This looks <laughs> cool. I don't know how functional this would be. Oh, it, it's function, it drives. Oh, you got a winch. That's yeah, you pull on that, give that a good. Oh, nice, zip tied on, that looks good. Yeah, this one definitely works the imagination a little more than the other one. This is it, we worked all day for this moment. Suitcase full of 25,000 in cash. Steven, go ahead and hold that. You're gonna be giving that to the winning team and you get to vote between Team Red and Team Blue. So go ahead and step forward and announce the winner. I would have to go with Team Blue. Yes, I can't believe it. $25,000, you guys thought you were gonna win. Oh, you just lost the tire. Dude, I lost the tire. Uh oh. That didn't sound good. Yeah, I think Carter just broke his tire. Oh, the cops are here. Two cops? Carter, what did you do? Dude, there's more cops coming. Ah! Red versus blue. We got two custom built mini Jeeps that we built here in the last video, and we're gonna be putting them to the test to see what is better. The blue one with the dualies on the front and the treads on the back, or the red dunked out mini Jeep with the big golf cart chrome rims, the underglow, and a custom wing on the back. Let's find out in this episode of Last to Stop Riding. Woo! Joining me Woo! in today's challenge, we got the one and only Bailey Payne. So, Yo. This is the first time you've seen either of these, so you get to pick. Do you want blue or do you want red? Well, I will say, when I watched the YouTube video, I was highly impressed, and I honestly have to go with the blue one. It's just ah, so cool looking. That's the one that I built. This one is the most unique by far because Ooh. it's got four wheels on the front, so it's super wide like a crab, and on the back, we have the treads. So we're gonna be putting these to the test. Race, hill climb, off-road challenges, just seeing which one is better. Bailey's team blue, which means I'm team red, and I'm gonna be hopping on the one and only Fast boy. Here we go, the challenge is officially starting. Team Blue versus Team Red. Woo! Racers, start your engines. Oh, let's see if this thing even works. These things are gas powered with a shifter. We got three gears. These are legit, real mini Jeeps. Oh, oh it works. Y'all hear how smooth that sounds? Ooh! I wonder how fast this can actually go, because look, the tires, are big. Oh, and you might have noticed this one over there. This one we we're working on still to drive underwater, and it's gonna go that deep, eight feet underwater. That's coming soon. Keep an eye out for that one. But for right now, let's drive it into gear. Bye, Bailey's Carter. rolling with the treads. See ya. Woo! This is so sick. Oh! Oh! oh, oh yo! You're trying right. too sharp. Straighten oh, out. Straighten no. out. I, I'm trying to straighten out. Uh, guys, I built that one and uh, I didn't do a great job putting those front wheels on. Yo, push oh, no. the tire straight a little bit. Kick with, it. With my foot? Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't think you can turn very sharp. That's why I asked about the turn radius. Uh-oh. Well, we don't know. They're custom built. See, Carter set me up for failure, y'all. That's why he told me to go first. The show must go on. Let's keep going. All right, let's go. Okay, big wide turn. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Mine feels really fast. That's all I'm saying is these chrome rims are rolling and they feel so fast. Oh yeah, baby! Oh, 
Yo, that thing drives like a tank. We're gonna set up for our very first challenge, which is gonna be a race. We gotta see which one's faster. Yeah, and honestly, the race is gonna be pretty hard because these treads don't look like it's helping me much. Maybe for a future challenge, it'll help me though. I think Bailey's is probably slower, but more powerful. So I might win in the race, but I think his is probably gonna win on any off-road challenge. I'm driving this thing in second gear. And let's see how fast I can pick up. Look at this. Oh, that was sick. Look at Carter. Dude, I wonder if he can go on grass. Carter. Just try it off road. Ah, this is so cool. Yo, I love this one. Challenge one is a classic. It's a race. This time we're going to be starting on this line. We're going to race all the way around and end right on this line over here where that camera is. That's going to be the finish line. Woo! You ready for this? Oh, yeah. I have a feeling mine's way faster. I mean, I do have beautiful chrome rims. Racer, start your engine! Okay. I'm starting. All right, Bailey, you can count me down. All right, in three, two, one, go! Oh. Ah! Oh, I had a bad start. Thank you! Woo! Oh, he's going so oh, nice fast. and easy! Nice and easy! Oh, I gotta cut them off! Oh, I gotta pass them. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Yo, that race was insane. Carter, I can't believe you actually caught up. That was honestly so much fun. I had so such a fun. bad start. I went to give it gas and the thing bogged. And then I realized it was in reverse. I just shifted into first. To be honest, this so far is my favorite last hot riding challenge I've ever done. And the challenge is gonna get even harder than this one. You ready? You want to go for round two race? I got it. Yeah, I think I need redemption, but let's run the course backwards. Best two out of three. Woo! Here we go, race number two. This one is gonna be our start line and our finish. We got the photo camera right there. That's gonna see who wins. If it case it's a photo finish like last time. Oh, dude, I'm so no. That was honestly, I I'm still shocked. Carter caught up. Anyways, let's go. Three, two, one, go. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Yes! 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 I won! I won! Oh! I won! What? Yo! That was so. I couldn't get you on any of the turns. You Bro, boxed me out. Give me a high five. That block was so. <laughs> that was sick. His best two out of three. One point for me and one point for Bailey, so his last one's a tiebreaker. Oh, uh, what again? We gotta go one more to oh, tiebreaker. Carter says I'm not letting him close you <laughs> Oh, that block on Carter was so good. All right, race number three. Yes, Woo! here we go. This is for all the marbles to see who's gonna win the first challenge, which is the race. All Bailey right. boxed me out, but I think I'm faster. I just gotta make the turn. Ah! Is it what's better? Treads and four tires or the big tires? Let us know in the comments down below. Who's gonna win, Team Blue or Team Red? I need this guy because he's definitely gonna beat me in the off-road challenge. <laughs> All right, you ready? Count yeah. it down. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh! No! Oh! Come on! Come on! Oh! oh! Oh, I think I won! I think I won! No. You took the turn too big on the outside! No way! No, no, win. play that punish no, back! I think no I just way. beat Carter on the there last There's no race. way! I'm looking at the photo oh, camera. Look at I'm so mad! Let's go take a joy ride! There's no way I lost. I gave it everything I got. Ah! Oh, it feels so good to be a winner! Woo! Dude, I gotta come over, Carter. That Don't touch the ground. I'm not. Moment of truth. This is the photo camera. We're off and around, coming back for the finish. I won! Bailey won. Yo, by a hair of How? a second. Oh my god. Wow. That means I lost the first challenge. Bailey wins. Woo! We're moving on to challenge number two. Hill climb? Oh, Carter, this is where my vehicle comes oh, in. Watch no. this. To the hill climb. <laughs> Yo, you're ripping. No! Woo! We're on our way to the next challenge. This is so sick. Look at this. Big tires. Oh, oh. oh yeah, you got to get a 
bouncing. Yeah, go on there. It's bouncing. Oh, it's so bumpy. But look at this. It's so beautiful. Let's go. There's no way Carter can climb this hill. No way. Oh. All right. All right. I got you, Carter. Oh. Oh. Wait, are my tires going to fit through there? Uh-oh. Barely might not fit. Oh! Yo, it's working! This is sick! You got an inch on either this. side. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Yo, hit that subscribe button. This video is just gonna get even crazier. Yo, Oh no! Dude? Look at my tire. Dude, they're zip tied on. It's not looking good. Reverse. Oh, you just lost the tire. Dude, I lost the tire! Now I only have three on the front. Are you serious? This is not gonna be good for the next challenge. Oh, that was supposed to be my advantage. Challenge number two is the hill climb challenge right here on the steepest hill of the property. Bailey, this is one of your favorites, so I think you gotta go first since you have, I guess, three tires on the front. You lost one over there. Dude, I'm so mad. The challenge right. is simple. You gotta ride down the hill, turn around, and come back. Wait, I gotta ride good. down? So these are the steepest hills. It's hard to film them on camera, but they are very steep. There's a lot of vehicles that can't climb them, and it's possible that one of these won't be able to make it. He's turning around, but the course is. You have to go down the steepest here. Really tight junction right there. You have to go up and then across the crest, down a steep transition, come back all the way through, back up. There's two major steep downward transitions and two steep upward transitions to complete the whole hill climb challenge. Bailey's about to drop in like a skateboarder. Here we go, attempt number one of the hill climb challenge. I'm so scared, especially because I lost a tire. Turn and go, turn and go. All right, three, two, one. Oh, it's so steep right there, it's like a cliff. Uh I made it! Now we gotta go up the big hill. It's a little less steep there than earlier, but that's fine. He's first. All right, ready? In three, two, one, go! Oh, man. Uh oh, he's not gonna make it. He's wobbling. Oh, oh you made it? I cleared it! <laughs> you made that look easy. Let's go! Yo, you made that look easy. Dude, even with three tires, I did that easy. You're up next. I don't know if my chromey fast boy is gonna be able to hold up to off-road. These are street tires. Carter's up, let's see what he's got. I don't think he can do this, y'all. Look at those tires, way too big for this hill. I'm a little worried about this. I mean, you should be. Are you going up against someone like me? Come on now, come on. Look at these. <laughs> Here we go, three, two, one. All right, let's see if he's got it. Oh my God. Oh, you're approaching the oh, hill. Oh my God. Oh wait, is he stuck? Oh. Uh-oh. That didn't sound good. Yo. <laughs> I think he hit the plastic around the bottom of the Jeep. Uh-oh. Oh, this is so steep. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Oh. I don't think I've ever ridden down that. All right, y'all. This is the moment of truth. If Carter makes this, he'll end up passing a challenge. We don't want that. You don't got this, Carter. I mean, come on, Carter. You got this. No way. No way! Oh! Bro, you oh. how'd you fly that? Did you hear those chunks? Yeah, dude, because you I bought them down. I think I was about to rip my engine or my drivetrain out of this fast boy. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, I'm still in the lead over here. All right, well, we each get a point for that one for completing. So now we got to go on to the off-road challenge. Oh, this is where uh, I come in with the treads! I know you can't catch me. Might have broke. Yeah, I think Carter oh. just broke his tire. Just like I did, but worse. Look at that. Oh, dude. That is not good. Oh, the cops are here. Cops are here. Carter, hop in with me. Yo, we got two, literally two cops rolling down the driveway right now. Yeah, so you should hop in with me and let's get out of here. Police canine. Carter. Let me look from your side. What's going on? Look. Look at that. Did it break? Why is it like that? This is not well, good. While Carter's broken down, look at this. Literally cops. Uh-oh. Is modding and driving mini jeeps illegal or something? Are we getting arrested? Dude, I think you're about to get arrested. Oh, dude, look at the Both cop cars. Two cops? Carter, what did you do? Dude, there's more cops coming. Carter! 
There's literally a whole entourage of cops right now. Bro, what are you Bro. doing, Carter? Oh, no. You might need to hit that jet ski challenge when you're solo. Yeah, I know, Carter. Just hop in with me for now. Mine's broken, but we have to continue testing these Jeeps. All right, well, you know what that means, Carter. Classic. Oh uh, this is the jet ski challenge. Start it up. The run, this is simple. We got to enter the lake at this point, drive in the water, and go as deep as you can, and come out over at that lamp. Right. But you have to have all tires in the water. All right, Carter. You ready? I guess. You know what's so funny about this? Usually, you're the one driving and I'm passenger. Look at this fish. Look at that. There's literally fish in the water. Well, they better watch out. Beep, beep. Oh, we're going to run over some fish. Oh. They're not moving. Oh, you getting this? Yes. Look at the treads. Oh, oh I think we're going to flip. No, we're good. Oh. The treads are in the water. We are a fish oh, in the water. Oh, my God. All right, keep going. I'm trying. Go left, go left. I'm trying. All right, go out, go out, go I, out, go I'm out. Dying. Go first, first gear. Oh, Carter! Stop, 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 stop. Reverse. Okay, we gotta go reverse. I'm gonna have to hop onto the front. Yo, I think you just killed your mini Jeep. Wait. All right, go to the lamppost. Keep it going straight to the lamppost. Yes. Okay, go right, go right. Get out. Get out. I can't, it doesn't crawl like that. I literally jumped off, so I already lost. Bailey, you gotta get out of the water. Carter, I'm trying. The cops are literally at the house waiting for us, guys. They're all parked. Oh no, your tread just broke off. No. Yeah. It's smoking. It's smoking. We gotta get, we Dude. gotta just pull it out. This video is a disaster. Bro, we this, gotta get this out of the water. not good. My mini Jeep is definitely broken, guys. We're gonna- ah! Comment down below if we need to do a part two of this video and uh, we will fix these up and I go more because there's way more challenges. We didn't even get to complete. These things are wrecking. Custom mods are definitely hard. And a storm's coming. And the storm is coming. Literally worst case. Carter, but then we gotta go. We gotta go. See you guys in the next vlog. Peace. We gotta get this out.